Dear viewers, welcome to our channel, the deepening connection between SpaceX and US intelligence and military agencies. Highlighted by at least one significant classified contract, mainly involving military space services named Star Shield, suggests an increasing reliance of the US government on private space companies. It also implies a trend towards militarization in the space domain. This connection not only showcases SpaceX's dominant position in the space industry, but also underscores the significance of space for U.S. military agencies. This has raised concerns and attention from the public regarding what the connection between SpaceX and intelligence and military agencies signifies. Does it indicate a further integration of the space industry into militarization processes? Why does the U.S. government choose to closely collaborate with private space companies rather than solely relying on traditional military contractors? For other countries, what does SpaceX's connection with the U.S. military imply? Could it escalate international space competitions and trigger a space arms race? Reportedly, SpaceX has deepened its ties with U.S. intelligence and military agencies by signing a significant $1.8 billion classified contract involving its military space service named Starshield. The contract, disclosed in 2021, is said to be with the U.S. government, though the specific government client's name is not revealed. Publicly available information indicates it is the U.S. Military Space Development Agency, SDA. According to the Wall Street Journal, SpaceX's relationship with national intelligence and military agencies is becoming increasingly close. As per SpaceX's official website, Starshield will provide Earth observation, communication, and payload hosting services to government entities, aligning with the content of the Pentagon's Promote Protect Partner Space Architecture, PWSA, initiative. This system employs low-Earth orbit satellite constellations, unlike traditional military satellite networks, and SpaceX's Starlink service has successfully garnered support from U.S. military projects. Starshield's details are limited, possibly due to U.S. military secrecy requirements, preventing the disclosure of further information. The Digital Twin Battlefield Laboratory has been monitoring SpaceX's relevant activities, especially the closely related Starshield program. It claims several advantages, including security, modular design, interoperability, rapid development and deployment, resilience and scalability. Traditional reconnaissance satellites typically operate in medium to high orbits, making them easily identifiable and potentially leading to poor observation or even deception. In contrast, Starshield employs a low-Earth orbit satellite system, with individual satellite observation capabilities limited but extensive when networked, enabling wide-area real-time observation. Starshield's modular design allows for flexible integration of various reconnaissance modules, including photography, infrared telemetry, electromagnetic signal intelligence, radar, etc. SpaceX utilizes laser satellite communication for high-speed data exchange, with rates exceeding 100 gigabits per second, enabling rapid updates and expansion of satellite network's functionalities. The U.S. Space Force has achieved a 27-hour satellite launch response time, further optimizing it to potentially 24 hours or even 12 hours. Faced with potential space conflicts, SpaceX needs to rapidly replace damaged satellites to enhance survivability. Understanding these changes can help in preparation for potential scenarios like Space War 2.0. The Digital Twin Battlefield Laboratory will release reports covering SpaceX's Starshield and Promote Protect Partner Space Architecture. Since February 2022, SpaceX has actively engaged in international geopolitical changes expanding its strategic propaganda from commercial to military services. Its technological capabilities are inseparable from overall strategies. The Starshield project demonstrates its intent to delve deeper into the military domain, with future involvement expected in global geopolitical and military activities. Observing its new developments may guide China in understanding the interaction between U.S. government and enterprises and global strategic directions.
Since 2022, SpaceX has expanded from Starlink to Starshield, blurring the boundaries between commercial, military, and space domains. Coordination between high-tech enterprises and government strategies has significantly strengthened. Changes in global situations prompt SpaceX to expand its service scope actively, highlighting the trend of politicization and civil-military integration of U.S. enterprises. This reflects the result of close cooperation between the U.S. government and enterprises. Enterprises exhibit an ideologically driven nature, expanding their global involvement, highlighting the power structure of the Western world. The government guides enterprises through policy inclinations and financial support, aligning them with government strategies. This trend has been significantly manifested since the introduction of the CHIP and Science Act. Starshield's deep deployment in the fields of Earth observation and payload hosting will highlight that first-mover advantage, based on outer space technology and strategic layout, increasing the possibility of external political manipulation. The collaborative capability of Starlink and Starshield technologies provide satellite internet services to Ukraine, Iran, and Gaza. Many believe technology should be ideologically neutral. But entities possessing advanced technology deeply intervening in international situations could increase the possibility of external interference. Starshield's real-time satellite reconnaissance technology, in line with U.S. government strategic intentions, is a prominent manifestation of this trend. Emerging technologies are a key area of concern for all countries, as having cutting-edge technology will lead to strategic leaps but also requires guarding against potential adverse effects on regional security. In July 2023, Japanese government sources stated that the Japanese Self-Defense Forces were testing Starlink, satellite internet services to enhance military communication capabilities. As Starshield accelerates deployment and deepens cooperation with the US government, China should proactively respond to risks, accelerate strategic deployment and create a favorable domestic and international environment conducive to national development and security. Technology should have neutral attributes, but technologies represented by a Starlink and Starshield, deeply intervening in international situations and domestic politics may become prominent features in the future. China should deeply analyze the security risks behind technology from the perspective of overall national security, strengthen effective responses, and provide security guarantees for national modernization. In conclusion, the connection between SpaceX and U.S. intelligence and military agencies indicates the increasingly significant role of private space companies in national security and defense strategies. This signals the space industry's progression towards militarization, where private companies will play a larger role in military space projects. The U.S. government chooses to collaborate with private space companies because it can accelerate space technology development faster and reduce costs. Compared to traditional military contractors, private space companies are more flexible, innovative, and better able to meet government needs. For other countries, SpaceX's connection with the U.S. military could intensify international space competitions particularly prompting other countries to increase investment and military development in space to counterbalance U.S. military superiority. This could escalate the space arms race, further heightening international tensions. That's all for today's video. Stay tuned for the next exciting content. Goodbye. Goodbye.